right, so here he is out of the blue corner, the number one heavyweight contender fighting for the title here tonight. Daniel Cormier has eight championship belts at home. Do you remember, though, the nerves for your first UFC title fight? It's the most overwhelming thing you've ever <laughs> felt in your entire life. You are sitting in the back waiting for that moment where you get an opportunity to go chase something greater than yourself. So many people have played a part in getting this man to this spot. How does he deliver? How does he not let anyone down? How does he ultimately become the champion of the world? This is a big spot for him. He is so excited to try and become the man. Well, self-belief is a powerful thing. He has long thought that he is the best heavyweight in the world. Tonight, he gets a chance to prove it. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do it. Round one underway. This man is all the rage. The Korean Superboy, Duho Choi. Very difficult challenge for the opponent here tonight. This is an outstanding first round fighter. Outstanding fighter overall. But the fight time of the UFC, not a lot. Because more often than not, he gets the opponent out of there in round one. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Trying to establish that jab once again. Sidekick lands for him there, champ. A lot of times that is used to manage space. Nice jab. Walk that kick to the ball. Lands a shot to the leg. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, another brutal jab. If you like boxing and you appreciate the sweet science, his jab is as good as it gets. Yeah, he's the best pure boxer in MMA. He's one of those guys that if he needed to go into a boxing arena, he could still be competitive. And it all starts behind that beautiful jab. Set the equilibrium. Nice high kick. Oh, Superman punch. The Korean Superboy gets caught by the inside leg kick. Two minutes have expired in our opening round. Nice strike. job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Oh, nice kick. Unable to connect with a right hook. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Choi gets touched by that kick to the body. Pretty good execution for him there on the side kick, DC. Just really feeling himself. One of those traditional... Well, that strike landed cleanly. Just over two minutes to go. Best punch in the game. Beautiful jab. As he gets close and he's out of the kicking range, he'll suddenly he'll change his stance. Sure. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, it's stringing them together so effectively, never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. Throwing that jab, no good. Nice jab. Under a minute to go. 
Way to hide that leg kick. Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter. And I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit taller. Fighters separate from the clinch now. Leg kick lands, my favorite strike. That was a massive high kick. Oh, great deception to land the flying knee. 15 seconds. Big body kick lands. Another big body kick lands. A little single collar tie there. Round two straight ahead. Underway. Hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going. But now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. with the left hook. Oh, roundhouse kick. Style points on that one. Really using his reach advantage to great effect with that punch there. Oh, nasty cut right on the bridge of the nose. He is bleeding. Oh, nice combination. Yeah. Just misses with that big right hand. He's hurt bad. Nice. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Beautiful jab there by the champ. Good jab. Just over three minutes to go now. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you gotta try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something because the more he's standing, the more he's gonna have to deal with this cut, and now all the blood that's coming from the cut. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two, much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, inside kick. All right, single collar tie now. Again with the inside leg kick. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh, nice kick. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. Somehow, his opponent stayed up with him. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yeah. Look for him to throw that overhand here again. He's 
to that left hand. Not there. Well, you gotta think he might be trying to set up that overhand again. He's found a home for it all night long. Let's see if that holds true. Effective use of the jab there by Choi. Under a minute now to go. Just misses with a left hook there. My champ starting to see some swelling upstairs now. Well, he's taking way too many shots to the head. You gotta move your head. You cannot be on a straight line. Otherwise, you will take shots. Seconds left. Final seconds of the round. Well, when you're dealing with a cut like that, it may not be long before it starts to impact the breathing. Not a good spot to be in here. Good round. All right, there's the horn signifying the end of the round, and he heads back to the stool, and hopefully he can stay in this fight because that is a severe cut that he's dealing with right now. All right, the truck has produced some replays from that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the strike that opened up that cut on the bridge of his nose. It's nasty, and it's in a bad spot because the reality is when you can't breathe through your nose, you start to open your mouth, but the blood is dripping down into your mouth. How is he going to breathe in order to have a chance to win this fight? You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, third round of this champ. Right over the top, right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You gotta go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off and take your time. He's right for the picking. Go and pick the fruit. <laughs> Bro, that cut is so bad. Like, can't the referee stop the fight right now? Somebody needs to stop it, because he won't. Yeah. That's the thing. That's the beauty in the fighter. He will not quit. Sometimes you got to go in there and tell him, hey, man, there's tomorrow. Yeah. Doesn't have to happen today. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Choi. Well, some fighters, when they get cracked in the mouth, they respond well. He got stunned earlier in the round and hasn't really recovered or gotten back into things. People react differently, right? Some people just get back going. He's having a hard time building his way back into this fight. Well, the crowd continues to react with every passing land, but if you're the referee or even the corner, Somebody's got to get involved with that. Somebody's got to do something. It's getting very uncomfortable to watch this. And as the crowd gets excited, there's also a little bit of that. Uh, yeah. I don't want to see any more going on in their reactions. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Nice loop and punch. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course. It's another to use it effectively. That's the throw at the top, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think he's going low and he's right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Oh, huge kick to the leg. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan, and it's working. Oh, nice, nice hook. 
Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Put your hands up higher. Come on. Lands with the lead right. Under two minutes now to go. His misses are on the Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Choi. Nice jab there. Oh, nice. Just out of range with that left hook. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Well, he is a tactician. He does not discriminate when it comes to his weapons. There's a sidekick. That sidekick can go to the legs or to the body. What a technique. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He is mixed. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish. Oh, right oh, he landed another great shot to the body there. Really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Oh. Fifteen seconds. Oh, roundhouse kick. Oh, oh another one. Oh. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship round. All right, so the fighters head back to the stools, and hopefully this fight can continue. That is a severe cut. We'll see if the cut man can do some good work here. Ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round now, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension for the overhand. Now he's hurt. That's one of those shots that if you take one of them, the in the night, that one landed right on the spot. He's almost out of there. Let's go. Well, that overhand, big weapon for him throughout his career. It's been there all night. Look for him to go back to it here. Well, missed on that one. Oh, a huge block there. Sneaky head kick. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. All right, so the overhand has certainly been a big weapon for him here tonight. Look for him to go right back to it here if he can find an opening. Oh, back and forth we go. Jab lands. All right, so a knockdown for him in the previous round, and you can just see by his body language how confident he is in the striking realm in this matchup. And you can see his confidence in his posture, but also you can see the effect that knockdown had on his opponent by the way he is approaching this round. Right on the button. Oh! Just out of range with that strike. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. You heard him again.
if we play shot to the leg. Well, DC kind of just playing with him at this point, right? You think he's got to go in and just get him out of there. Well, he's trying, but he gets a little bit anxious. So he starts to throw a lot of punches and not the right punches. And because he's throwing so much, he keeps missing. And by doing that, he's missing chances to end this fight. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Lands a nice leg kick. And he blocks the shot there. Oh, good combination. Very efficient with his strikes tonight. Just over two minutes now to go. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Beautifully timed and place kick there by the Korean Super Bowl. Well, if this fighter gets back to the stool, he's going to get an earful from his coaches. Confidence seems to be abandoning him. Yeah, you kind of see him looking to survive as opposed to winning the fight. Oh! Back to his feet. Oh, nice jab up top by Choi. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Well, you can sense the corner frustration. He has not had any answer for these body shots, and now you see the visible damage. Well, his coaches are wondering, where's the defenses? We worked on this. We knew this was... Oh, that, that, that is going to do it! Do Ho Choi with one of the greatest knockouts you will see! Ho! And here once more with the official decision is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, one second of round number four. We're playing the winner by knockout and still the undisputed USC heavyweight champion of the world.